and all the times from the first reading today we have had the wrangles between uh, the priest Messiah and uh, the prophet Amos prophet uh, Amos a person who was a saint called from Judah to go to the northern kingdom because we know that uh, the kingdom, the Israel was, uh, was divided between the north and south. So uh, the prophet Amos was called from the south to go and prophesy in the north, in the uh, kingdom of Israel. And as we have heard, uh, the, the, the priest, Amaziah, a, a kind of, a kind, a, in a way, he fights. He fights Amos in his mission uh, to carry on uh, the message of God uh, to the uh, to the people and to the king, because he goes and tells the king Jeroboam that uh, the prophet Amos is against you, and the same way he goes back to Amos and tells him, "You will die," because uh, this city. Bethel is a holy sanctuary of uh, the king. So you cannot be here. Go back to the south. Go back to your land. You are alien. You are a stranger here. Why do you, your message is importune, is, it is disturbing to us and to the king. Go back and you take your prophecies, do your mission and work for your bread in your land. And we have had the response of the prophet who, uh, who tells him that he didn't call himself. God called him. He was a dresser of the sycamore tree and he gave him the mission. So we are, we are seeing that even we ourselves in society we see many uh, messages that really are trying uh, to put us on the line especially the church, which is always trying to, uh, try to, to be an advocate for the truth, justice, and in a way, many people, those in, uh, in authority sometimes, uh, try to stample, to trample it down in its endeavor to be an advocate of the truth. But we are told that we are called in liberty, and liberty will respond Ours is to follow uh, the word of God. Many people try to say, to tell us uh, many good things. Ours is also to recognize the message of God in the, many, in the daily activity, activities, the running of uh, our works. You know? There are many people on the road, as we are told, we are told that Christ can be met everywhere on the roads, in our places of, of work, in the church, and everywhere. But how do we receive uh, this message? Sometimes we react like the priest of Bethel, tell, saying that, don't tell me this. Go away. You are not welcome here. So we are being reminded that we should be able to discern we should be able to open our eyes and see uh, the truth that we are uh, being told by various venues, you know, because God speaks to us in many ways. We have heard something very important in the gospel, whereby Christ does uh, the miracle that is unseen. You know? We have heard of the two miracles. And people uh, see, make it, take it for granted, you know, the scribes, the leaders of the people, because Christ forgives sins. That is a miracle. A miracle. That is what is interior. That is what is great, even more than uh, the last miracle of healing physically the paralytic. And they, but they don't recognize the greatness of this miracle. Uh, they have to understand by uh, the physical, the material miracle 
in order for them to recognize that Christ is great. Yet, what is very important is that the forgiveness of sins. So today, we are also being called upon. We have the sacrament of penance, but how many times do we frequent this sacrament? Probably we take long. Probably we don't think about it. So today, we are, we are asking the Lord to give us that grace to be able to frequent the sacrament of penance.